Welcome back, Unicorn fans. Today, we have my brother's Ultraman Gaming PC build with the RTX 3090. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So what's the first thing you're gonna do? So first, we're gonna unbox our MSI MPG Z490 Gaming Plus motherboard. Okay. And we're gonna install our Intel i9 10th Gen Core into it. Cool, let's get started. What step are we going to do next? So now we're going to install our Trident Z RGB 32 gigabyte RAM into our motherboard. Awesome, let's do it. Now what about next step after you put in the RAM? So now we're going to install our WD Black SN750 SSD. Awesome. So now we're going to install our SSD onto our motherboard with the screw included. So it turns out there was no need to install the heat shield because our SSD already comes with a heatsink. Okay, what is our next step? So now we're gonna install our Corsair H100i RGB Platinum cooler onto our motherboard. Sounds fancy, let's do it. So now we're going to install our Intel bracket onto the back of our motherboard. And do keep in mind these screws do move. So now we're going to take off the adhesive peel and put it on. So now we're going to flip over our motherboard and install our 115 screws.
So now we're going to install both of our fans and screw them into our radiator. So now we're going to be installing our AIO water cooling pump onto our CPU. I'm just going to take this off right here, that, and this is pre-applied with thermal paste as well. Okay. Now we're going to screw in our thumb screws. This one here. So now we're going to be unboxing our Lian Lee PC-011 dynamic razor case. So to mount the motherboard onto our case, we're going to be using the included J screws. So now we're going to be using the screws with washers on them that were included with our water cooler to screw in our radiator. So now we're going to unbox this beast of a graphics card, the Asus Shrix GeForce RTX 3090. Look at this thing. It is huge. This is going to be an awesome, awesome graphics card. So what I did was I went ahead and installed my GPU on the bottom slot since it's so big and we didn't really have enough space with these cooler lines. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure some screws right here and attach an L-bracket right here. So now we're going to go ahead and open up our Seasonic 850 watt power supply. So now we're going to put in our power supply and really all it does is just match up right here on the side of our case. It goes in just like that. So 
now we're just going to put in our screws. Make sure this is lined up. So now we're going to open up our fans and install them onto our case. So I just installed one of my Corsair LL120 RGB fans onto the top of the case and I'm going to do the same for the other two. So this is going to be our last major hardware installation and this is going to be a 4TB Barracuda Seagate Compute hard drive. So for our hard drive, all you have to do is install it into the sliding bracket with four screws. So now all we have to do is slide our hard drive into our slot and be careful not to hit these pins right here. So I just finished putting all my hardware into my PC case and all that's left is for me to wire all my components into my motherboard and I'll show you guys the finished product once I'm all done. Here is our final product. And inside as you can see we have our AIO pump, my GeForce RTX 3090 graphics card which is an ASUS Strix model, my case fans, and my case all lit up. And up here on my desk is my SteelSeries Apex Pro TKL keyboard with an OLED screen, my Model O gaming mouse by Glorious, and my SteelSeries RGB mouse pad. And here we're just running some Warzone, and we're hitting about one. 70 to 180 FPS But keep in mind this is at all ultra and high settings and frames per second is pretty much just how many frames are being displayed on my monitor per second